Hey guys, Justin here coming at you from the 3x3 test tent with another unboxing video. This one is from Mars Hydro. It's one of their new FC series lights. We've already tested the FC 3000. This is the next step up, the FC 4800. So let's, uh, this is a pretty big box. So let's just go ahead and rip right into this thing. All right, guys, we got this open. That is one sweet looking kit, that is for sure. Uh, this is just, a, like I said, a bigger version of the FC3000 and it's actually a folder. Uh, so you could run it folded if you wanted to. Um, I would suggest just opening it up and, and running it in a, a three by three. They do say it can run up to a four by four, but based on their PAR maps, I really think this light is gonna be a three by three killer. Um, you may be able to use it in a 4x4, but it's definitely not going to be a overpowering light for a 4x4 by any means. Uh, so let's try it in a 3x3, and I think this is going to be one of the lights for those people out there that are looking for a really, really powerful 3x3 grow light. So let's, uh, let's take a look and see what we got in the box. Uh, of course, we do have the uh, meters here. We've got the, uh, the heat meter. We got the PAR meter and spectrometer. We got the meter meter and baby katana. Uh, already used baby katana. And then I've got the uh, watt meter up there, ready to go. And uh, this is what we got in the box completely. Uh, we've got, of course, some rope ratchets. Uh, they are the plastic gear rope ratchets. I wish they would include metal gear on these uh, uh, nicer lights, but hey, that's only a, a few bucks. Uh, then you got the uh, the daisy chain uh, phone cord. Then they give you a uh, a microfiber cloth so that you can wipe your tears after you turn the light on with your tears of joy that you'll cry for how bright it is. So they give you a nice little microfiber cloth to wipe away your tears. And then uh, we got the uh, hanging kit, which is much more robust than the one that they included with the 3000. So that's really good to see much much more robust hanging kit I have confidence in this one I'll probably actually use it uh, and then of course we've got the driver it's got the uh, dimmer the daisy chain function on and off they use the Inventronics driver on this one which a lot of companies are using right now HLG included there's a look at the driver for you uh, it's just a, uh, a standard bar style light they're really popular right now because they give really, really great even coverage and uh, really just they're efficient. It's an efficient design. This bar style design, in my opinion, is a little more efficient than the uh, just the standard uh, quantum board setup. With exception to like something like the Diablo where it's spaced out, but that's a lot more expensive than this light is. So uh, this, is, uh, this is a pretty nice kit for the money. And if you're looking for a three by three power, I think this is gonna deliver. I really, really do. So let's go ahead and get this hooked up and we'll see what kind of numbers we can push in this three by three tent. So I will be right back. Now we do have the uh, user manual. Can't forget to go through that here real quick. We've got all their different models. You can pause if you wanna read that. Assembly instructions is pretty straightforward to be honest. It's not really hard at all And you can actually run the uh, the driver attached or detached either way uh, Dimming operation that's super self-explanatory really Growing tips suggested heights and things like that next one's safety so let's skip to warranty uh, it's got their standard Mars Hydro warranty uh, within the first three months they'll uh, they'll pretty much just swap it out fix everything for free uh, three months to a year you pay one-way shipping you ship it to them and uh, 
then they will, uh, oh, and fees, pay the one-way shipping fees, oh, just, just the shipping fees, so that's good, just the shipping fees, and then, uh, one to three year, you've got, uh, pay the two-way shipping fees and repair fees, so this one's a little bit different, I could have swore some of their other ones said on the three month to one year that you have to pay some of the repair, repair fees too, so this does not say that. So that's good. So you actually get up to a one year warranty where you only have to pay shipping. And then after that, after three to or one to three years, you're paying both ways shipping and to repair it. The only thing that you're that you're getting is labor, I guess. So yeah, it's basically a one year warranty. But the good news is they they use good parts. So uh, this driver by itself has more than a one-year warranty through Inventronics, so that's something you could take care of through them as well. Uh, the uh, the LEDs used are LM301 is what they what they say, but they don't say if it's B or H. Um, I imagine it's B, or else they would probably say that it's H. Uh, so it is LM301B, more than likely, which is great. And then you've got the Inventronics driver. It's good solid parts. It should last a good long time, and um, I don't I don't really see any issue with a lot of these lights uh, coming out now. As long as they have good parts, um, you're not going to need the warranty. But I mean, if you happen to do be that one in a hundred shot or whatever it is, and you end up needing that warranty, it's going to kind of suck. So just uh, keep that in mind when you're buying a lot of these newer lights to compare warranties and stuff. But uh, yeah. Let's get this thing hooked up. All right, we are back. I've got this thing hooked up. It is completely shut off. Let me go ahead and flip it on. Bam, look at that, man. This thing fits like a glove in a three by three. This is a true three by three tent, 36 by 36, and it fits perfect, absolutely perfect perfect it couldn't fit any better <laughs> for real this is excellent fitment excellent fitment that just looks amazing wall to wall corner to corner complete coverage just as I suspected this thing's gonna be amazing, amazing. Off the charts, off the charts. We've got the watt meter hooked up, it's ready to go. We are dimmed down to the minimum, bare minimum. Looks like it's pushing 51 watts, something like that. Not too bad. Let's take a look and see what, uh, what we're pushing for uh, par here to the middle. One fourteen, not too bad. Uh, out to the side here. Ninety-one, so it does not drop off very much. Uh, so this is a little bit low for seedlings. Could kick it up a little bit here. Let's try. What would that be? Fifteen percent. See if we can get it dialed in for seedlings here. Let me stabilize the light. I just bumped it. Two thirty-five. That's pretty good. And one seventy-three. That's acceptable. So I would say fifteen percent, and you could run seedlings or clones through the whole tent. Clones, you would maybe even need less. You could go 173, maybe even 10% light in here for clones. You don't need a lot at all for clones. Maybe even, you could even probably get away with 5% to be honest. But for seedlings, you wanna keep them from stretching. So I usually wanna run them in between 150 and 250 generally. Usually closer to 150 when they're young and then as they get bigger, you kinda of raise it up. So that's, uh, that's that seedling section. 
So now, let's go up to uh, see what 25% does. Oh, and I should mention too, the height. Uh, we are at 24 inches uh, simulated canopy. Because my meter is five and a half inches, so I have the light at 29 and a half inches. So the top of my meter is 24 inches off the light, making it a 24 inch canopy. So now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and take a, another reading here. Three forty-two. So a little bit light uh, for veg. I, I, it's not bad, uh, 300 to 400, but I try and save 350 to 400 for veg. So it's really, really close. But if you take it out to the edge, it's gonna drop off a little bit. 258, yeah, see that's gonna be low. So let's go ahead and uh, bring it up to, let's say 35%. Right there, 35%. I'm thinking that's probably going to be a round veg. Oh, there we go. There we go, 488. That's a little bit high, but that is dead center. So that's gonna put us at 387 on the side, perfect. Let's check a uh, corner here. Let me get the light out or the camera out of the way. 398, perfect. So yeah, that's, uh, that's gonna be perfect for veg. Now let's see what, uh, just take a quick reading at 50% in the middle here. Six twenty seven. Wow. We're already into flower territory. And take a look at the red. Look at how much red this thing has. That is a crap ton of red. So really good for flowering, but it has enough blue for veg as well. So really good spectrum makeup. I dig it. But let's, uh, let's see how far we can push this thing because we're already into flower territory at 50%. Let's just go to 75. Damn, that's really bright. Okay, so this is gonna be some power right here. <laughs> wow. 1119 1119 Wow that is awesome let's check the corner I bet the corner is even gonna be good I gotta move the camera out of the way again here nine thirty in the corner this is a really good corner because it's it's well uh, well uh, reflected this corner over here isn't quite as good a reflection because the door's open. Let me check this corner here. Seven sixty-eight. That is still just crushing it. Absolutely crushing it in the weakest corner. Side eight twenty-two. Man. <laughs> Holy crap. So yeah, this thing is 750 basically is the lowest reading that you can get at 75%. At 75%. That is awesome. Awesome. So let's blow the doors off this tent and crank it all the way up to max. See if it's got more juice. See if it's got more juice. I don't know if it does. I don't think the wattage went up any. Maybe it maxes out at 75. Yep. <laughs> All right, so 
75% is 100%, uh, by the way. Uh, that extra 25% uh, just kind of uh, is there for uh, good feelings and fun. Uh, so yeah, 75% is the new 100%, but that's, that's awesome, man. The readings are off the chain. Fucking killer, man. Absolutely killer. Eight fifty. Nine fifty. I was right underneath the the uh, screen over on that side, apparently, or it's just weird. Like these walls, when they suck in and move and stuff, they reflect differently. So it's it's gonna vary a little bit, tent to tent, but not very much. These these numbers are crushing it. Anything over 600, 650, you're going to get killer buds. We're up here in the 900s and the 1100s, where anything over 1,000, you really, really want to have CO2 to take advantage of it. So this is, uh, this is one hell of a 3x3 killer, guys. If you've got a 3x3 tent and you need some serious power, you're trying to push some serious weight, and you've got your, your whole setup dialed in for nutrients and everything, and if you're looking to run CO2, this light will push it. This light will push your grow to its maximum, maximum limits. Really, really cool. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and let this warm up so we can do the thermal testing on it. And then we will wrap this up. But so far, this thing is freaking killer. All right, we are back and we've given this plenty of time to warm up here. So let's take a look and see what the thermal camera tells us for heat readings. So the, uh, the floating points there, the green is the lowest that it sees on the screen, and the red floating point is the hottest. It looks like 128, 129, and then the white is where I'm aiming, the white rectangle. See, so yeah, about 120, 122, 123, Showing 131 over on that rail there. One twenty-five. Outer rails looking like one fifteen, one nineteen, one twenty. Yeah, about one twenty to one twenty-five. 130 on the middle one here because it's in between everything kind of like the center of the heat Pretty standard not too bad Definitely could use a, uh, a fan in here blowing down on it uh, This is the driver here If I can get a good shot of that Here's the driver It's running about 127 128 Pretty nice. Like I said, it'll probably work in a 4x4, but for my money, I'm putting this thing in a 3x3 and blowing the doors off the 3x3, growing a pound up in here, and uh, just killing it, man. You should easily be able to get a pound out of here with this light. This is what, 478 watts? Yeah, that's not, even, that's not even one gram per watt. Yeah, you should easily be able to get a pound out of here with this light killing it man killing it so uh check the links below that's got all the good stuff discount code everything also the link below to my website to all my discount codes and uh hopefully you guys enjoy the uh the review this one was an awesome one these big lights are a lot of fun to do they got a lot of power man especially these new bar ones but hopefully you guys dig it until next time happy growing